It's a glorious thing to see rainbow flags in the hands of Irish men and Irish women. It's a glorious thing to be able to march through Derry in such gaudy, high-spirited, colourful array. Among people were fighting in Derry in matters concerning civil rights simultaneously on the streets of Greenwich Village in New York at Stonewall. Thousands of people were fighting also, perhaps out of sight of one another, out of mind of one another. But when we look back on that now, isn't it obvious that it was the same struggle in Greenwich Village and on the streets of the Bogside? It is estimated that there's somewhere between 6 and 10 percent of the population who are LGBT. So that means in this city alone, there is somewhere in the region of 10,000 people. And these people are mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, uncles, aunts, and they have families. And they have rights. LGB and T people are here, there, and everywhere. They are doctors, they are nurses, they are workers, they are service providers, they are politicians, and they are people who are entitled to the same rights and entitlements as all of us. I was very proud to walk that particular route today. The same route that they started walking in October 1968, the Civil Rights March, and to walk it with people like Jeremy McClellan. And I was standing talking to Der Jeremy there now, and he said to me, are you going up to speak, Colin? I said, I am, but I don't know what I'll say. He said, tell him you can smell the freedom. And I agree Woo! with him. Today is a very proud moment for this city. It's, a, it's not only a march, it's not only a bit of fun, it's not only a bit of uh, expressing all the difference in this city, it's an act of defiance against all those people that would paint this city as backward, as narrow-minded, as all those things. Derry is a city that has changed, it's a city that will keep changing, and I'm very, very proud to stand here today as a very, very proud Derry man, because this is a great show. Keep it up. Well done, everybody. See you next year.